Hello and welcome to SJ's classes. The global pandemic that has been wreaking havoc across the globe has completely affected our life and work routine. It has disturbed our work pattern and has forced us to opt alternative models. This pandemic has affected the teaching community as well. Most of us who are not familiar with the online mode of teaching and learning and are now rigorously trying to understand these platforms to impart education to its seekers. This video lesson is for those teachers who are struggling to record the daily attendance of your students. You can do it by using Google Forms. In the first part of this video lesson, I will teach you how to create a Google Form for attendance. And in the second part, I will demonstrate how to extract the data from the Google Form and to use the same, for, same form for taking the attendance the next day. Most of you might be doing it, but are you doing it the right way? Let us check it out. So let us get started. The very first thing that you need to do is to open your browser. I'm using Google Chrome over here. Go to Google Forms. You need to log into your account to access Forms. It's better you use your professional ID for this so the students will get your professional email ID rather than your personal ID. Here is the form. You can fill up the main heading. You can give the semester or the class as the titles so that you will be able to distinguish the file from all the other files that you might create in the future. You can also give a subheading. Normally I enter the date as well as the hour for the students so that they will understand for which date and for which hour the attendance is being taken. You can also give some instructions for the students in the form descri description space. It's good that you give instructions regarding how to fill the attendance or that they need to be careful while uh, filling the attendance. It's not necessary that you have to fill this space, it's optional. You can use this space so that you can give some sort, some sort of instruction to the students. Next from the settings tab, make sure that you make the form to collect the email address and you limit the responses to one. This is the presentation tab. You can give a, you can either keep the default confirmation message or you can uh, give a custom message. So that's all about the settings part. Make sure you accept email addresses and you limit the response to one. Now let us add the questions. The first question is obvi obviously the name of the candidate. Make sure you make this particular question required or else the student will be able to submit the form without entering the name. The next question that you want is the registration number or the candidate code. Forms will automatically detect this and will ask you if they need to implement a response validation. It's not necessary that you need to use this. You can either set the beginning number so that the students will give the entire candidate code. It's not necessary. Please make sure that you make this required. You can also give instructions to students by putting it in brackets so that they will enter the complete uh, candidate code. So 
so these two are the only details necessary to fill up your daily attendance you can actually please make sure that the form is in accepting mode and when you are done please you can switch it off you can also change the overall view of the form by taking the theme option from the top it's the second option you can choose a header you can upload and upload a banner for your attendance form all these are done so as to make it very much appealing you have the options to upload the themes that are already there in forms or you can upload a personal banner you can change the uh, color of your form you can change the background color and there is also the option to change the font style of your form you have four options you can select from all these four you have the basic decorative formal and playful options in font style so this is it you have entered the necessary details now it's time to share it you can either share it by email you can send uh, the form to your students or you can share the link it's better you shorten the url if you are trying to share it in whatsapp or google classroom copy the link and you can uh, use web.whatsapp.com to share it via whatsapp or you can use your google classroom to share the link Now let us look at how we record attendance after the students fill the details. Let's now understand how to extract the data from Google Forms after your students have used the form to fill up the attendance. Go to your browser. You might be wondering how I have all these links stored in here in this bookmarks tab what i do is i go to the particular site that i want to add as a bookmark and i use ctrl plus d to add it to my books bookmarks tab and just click on done and you will have the link on your bookmark tab now please make sure that in the setting of your browser you have the bookmarks tab turned on only then you will you will be able to view the bookmarks tab you can add all your important sites to your bookmarks tab. Let us log in to our Google Forms account. Now this will be the default page that will come up when you log into your account. So here is one of the forms that I use to take attendance from my students. It, it is empty right now because I have scheduled it for today. So once they fill it I have I will have all their responses in this particular page. Now this is how you extract the data. Right now I don't have any data in it because the students haven't uh, entered their attendance. So this is where you will find their details. Now I have a sample excel sheet ready for you. It's always good you download this particular file to your computer and work on it offline because the speed with which the file on Google Drive, this excel sheet is actually saved in your Google Drive. The speed with which the file will respond will depend upon the efficiency of your computer as well as the speed of your internet connection. So I would always recommend you downloading the excel sheet to your computer and work on it offline that would be much better I have a sample file made ready for you here so that I don't have to expose my students detail as well so this is how you will be getting your uh, excel sheet downloaded into your com uh, computer you will have the time during which they have entered their attendance you will have their email addresses, their names. I have used uh, examples or phrases instead of names over here and you will have their candidate codes. Now this is why I asked uh, the students to fill in their complete uh, candidate code so that I will be able to sort uh, 
it from 1 to the last number if someone wishes any numeral in between then that will actually affect the sorting process so you can cross check if they have filled the attendance on time so once you cross check that this detail isn't much importance to you you can actually delete it off if you don't as you don't want it you can also delete the email address column as that is also not necessary for you for marking attendance what is necessary for you is the name of the students as well as their candidate codes so now what you have to do is you have you have to sort it now as of now it is in a jumbled order it's very difficult to find out who is absent and present from this order so what can be done is you can sort it from the beginning number to the end number to do that just select all the data that you have and use the sort option you have over here you have a variety of sorting options available here now for this business we'll have to sort we'll have to do a custom sort normally what will appear here is uh, you can sort, uh, sort from alphabet A to alphabet Z but as of now what we need to do is you'll have to we'll have to use a custom sort now in some cases uh, it will the the computer will automatically show uh, sort from smallest to largest you can use that option if if it does not uh, display that particular option you can do a custom sort and you can sort by the candidate code and you you have the option here smallest to largest and once you do that you'll find that the excel sheet has already sorted out the numbers from the smallest to largest so what you need to do is you have to you'll have to pick out the numbers which are missing here as you can see roll number one is missing then as you go down you will find other numbers missing here you have roll number 11 missing so like that you can pick out those students who haven't given their attendance so if you are planning to use this form for a particular day for example like a seminar uh, and if you want to retain the form you can do it or else if you want to use the form again for the next day what can be done is uh, you'll have to follow a series of steps so that you can uh, use the same form for uh, marking the attendance for the next day so here is how you can use the same form for taking attendance on the next day so this is the form in which you already have your uh, data so what you'll have to do is you'll have to delete all the responses you'll have to delete all the responses and then you'll have to unlink the form the reason why you unlink the form is that if you use the same spreadsheet f the next day then the students who gave their the names of the students who gave their attendance today will be displayed in the next uh, day's attendance list as well so this will create some sort of confusion so it's always better you unlink the form by using the three dot options that you have over here and once you unlink it you can change the details you can set the attendance for the next day and change the day as well as the hour or whichever detail that you have you are interested to supply there in the subtitle and what is to be done next is normally what i do is i will go to my google drive and i will delete the old response sheet the excel sheet i have in my google drive as i said earlier the excel sheet that is connected with this google form is saved into your google drive so go to your google drive and delete it off so that you won't have a number of files with the same title so go to google drive delete the excel sheet don't delete the form but delete the excel sheet with the title and once you delete that you can come back to google forms and you can select a new response destination and this will automatically create a new excel sheet in your google drive and the reason why you do this is 
you won't have the names of the students who gave their attendance yesterday in today's list so right now it is done what i need to do is i'll have to switch on the responses tab and i can share the link again either by email or by sharing it to whatsapp so this is how you can how you can use the same form again and again repeatedly if you want to retain the data if you want to retain the form as well as the data in that file you can just go back to your forms and you can start creating another form by uh, following the same steps i mentioned at the very outset or else as i said you can uh, delete all the data in a particular form and then use a new excel sheet to get new data i hope now you have an understanding regarding how to use google forms to take the attendance of your students daily it might seem a rigorous strenuous process at first but once you tackle it i'm sure it will ease up the task of recording their attendance if you like the video please do subscribe to my youtube channel in the following days to come i will be uploading videos that shall demonstrate how to use certain free video editing tools to make your online classes even more appealing thank you so much for watching